happy happy saturday y'all so i have to change the separator on my mobile scanner and i wanted to show you how that's done um, this is especially for those of you who have the same mobile scanner that i do so let me show you so i have here the workforce epson es 200 right and inside of here, this is how it looks. I have to change this piece here. Okay? This piece is the separator, and it helps to separate the pages. So I kept getting this error message to show up when I would do scans, you know, at um, my signing appointments. And I'm like, what the heck? Why did that keep coming up? And so, I need to get my eyebrows done, y'all. I'm getting them done tomorrow. But anyway, um, Googled the error message, and I have to replace that separator pad. So I went ahead, and I ordered one off Amazon. It was $19.99, very inexpensive. And supposedly, these separators are supposed to handle 10,000 scans, I think is what the lifespan is of it. Obviously, I'm doing more than that because I'm a mobile notary. And when I do closings, those packages are pretty big, hefty, so I'm absolutely going to do that. And then I have to reset the counter. And I have instructions to do that, so you don't have to figure it out. Just like I, I'm not going to have to figure it out. So let's replace it. So, here's the little piece here. Okay. And it's really easy to do. This is what the piece looks like. Okay. So, I'm going to pinch the old one and pull it out and put this one in there. Put the new one in there. So, let's see if I can do this so you guys can watch me do it. See these two pieces here? I'm just going to pinch and pull it out. All right. So here is the old separator. Okay. And here's my new separator. So I'm just gonna click it on in there. If you can see that. Let me make sure y'all can see what I'm doing see that I'm going to just slide that piece and it clicks in and then I close it and now I have to reset the counter so I'll be back because I want to share my screen. All right, guys. So, uh, here is the screen, right? So, I'm going to click over here to settings. I'm following the instructions here. All right. And I'm going to go to device settings. And I'm going to go to counter. And then. This is how many scans I've gotten. So the life cycle is 10,000. I have been getting the error message for some time now. The number of scans that I did was 13,791. So it's telling me here to click the reset button. And yes, I want to reset my separation pad. And there we go. All right. Now, I wonder what's going to happen with this pickup roller. It says pickup roller has a life scan of 13, I mean of 10,002. What's the pickup roller? Hmm. I wonder what's this thing. Oh, I bet it is. Oh, Lord. So I may have to replace that too. The pickup roller. Well, I guess I'll um, look that up because I'm going to have to replace that too. But I wanted you guys to 
see how to replace the separation pad just in case you have the same scanner that I do. Hope that you guys found this helpful. Got any questions? As always, make sure you leave it down in the comments or the chat or whatever. If you like the video, make sure you like it, share it with others. And um, yeah, that was all I have for today. Take care and you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.